Guys, time we say our goodbye to Mortal Kombat 11. Just to kick off this goodbye, I want to go all the way back to 2018, December 6th. Bash Ultimate was about to drop at midnight. We were all looking forward. We passed the time by watching the Game Awards live at home and New York, whatever. And we see Ed Boon come up to present the Realm Studio Best Sports Racing Game. And there it is. The, the second I saw this. interesting roster to say the least because uh, i will it's what it is to me is like a mixture of mkx with characters that were missing from mortal kombat 9 because um if you know you probably noticed jade wasn't in mkx baraka was a uh he was he died and was a non-playable character cabal wasn't even in there Heck, not even Nightwolf was even playable. All these characters, not even in the game. But uh, but it was good that they added them back. But you still had like a lot of X characters, which I'd say some could can't come back because I know a lot of people liked at least maybe liked Kotal and maybe Aaron Black. I'd say those were like some of the few. But I'm surprised that the one that didn't come back, but like that people liked the most, was of course Takeda. Because I think a lot of more people like Takeda than Cassie and Jackie. But, yeah, I, I, it at least did a good job with at least keeping some of the MK characters come back. But, I will say, big problem with one of the roads like right here is how they're just all dead. I Because this is still carrying from X, and that which leads a bunch of problems because you still have all these revenants like one two three four five five revenants and then they added a sixth one with sindel so six revenants and these are for the default these are like all default which is insane because like you see all these other characters like you all see them all alive and well and then you just have the uh ogs that are all dead which is insane Next, I want to talk about customization because it's not exactly there in my opinion. Because, like, to me, I feel like the best games that do customization for characters are definitely Soul Calibur and Tekken. With this, it's small changes along with, like, skins. So, gear... I feel like was this is it's cool but then like you have so many like different ways to unlock them but, and then some that are just like very annoying especially like the ones that remove masks for scorpion like this one right here i did not like how you just had to like unlock that as like an actual um add-on i didn't that is not something that should be an add-on but yeah you just had a lot of the masks that were also in these like special towers like you had the co-op towers premier towers a lot of them that are like modes that you do not look fun at all in throughout the game but yeah you had one for like certain cosmetics of your character and that was it as for skins <sighs> skins I really do not like how this they rolled out skins because you get pretty much one palette of your skin and that's it. You don't get like a whole color set for your skin, which I feel like is very weird because like, look at this skin. This is Scorpion's default skin and then look at how many panel palettes they have for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight that you have to unlock. Eight. And yet, all, none of them can be purchased in, like, the store, which is also random. The store is very random as well, so it's like, why is the store even there? It's like for all, random unlocks, but then, I will say the cinematics were cool for customization as well, especially for intros and victories. And fatalities, 
Brutalities, I feel like, were a weird one for what they did. Because, like, brutalities are, like, spread out. Because I see there's, like, so many brutalities in this game for a lot of characters. But then you really, they don't really also tell you any details on, like, how to find other ones. Because, like, I know Scorpion has a lot more than just these two. And I don't get why they aren't in this set. I am done. <laughs> with the ai i don't know why this is still needed if you ain't gonna play the game if you don't want to play the game that's fine i don't you don't need to be making these all right customizations this was very interesting because you were able to customize it to have your own sets but you were only able to have it to like three slots which i understand for like limitations but then you had like um um, that were like that took up two slots which was kind of weird especially for like this one like the help or cancel because like i don't see why that one needs to be like two slots but it, it gets even weirder because for some of them if you played this game at like the start of like the launch year you couldn't do like custom variations for tournament it was very odd you couldn't like do like a your own custom variation if you were trying to play that because like I know a lot of people who were doing that where they had their own custom variation, but they had to like set up to like the turn tournament once, which was very odd. Cause if you see these, you only have three of them that are legal. And these were the only ones that you could use. If you wanted to use like a certain move, then you probably waited until the near end of 2020 when combat pack two dropped. And that's when they finally legalized custom variations. It took a whole year for that to happen. I will say that is good though. I, I at least am glad that actually happened because uh, custom moves was something that didn't actually fully become like relevant for like Smash in my opinion because um, Smash did have that. But the problem with the Smash is that you had to unlock a lot of them and they weren't like default. Like you couldn't just like immediately pick, pick them. You had to like go through so many obstacles just to unlock one which was insane so i'm at least glad that 11 gave you the option to just have them all at the start the crypt i'd say they definitely nailed in this game the crypt is insane to explore it's like a whole it's almost like they did another conquest mode which they are trying to do with the invasions mode that they're uh promoting but I have one problem with the crypt, and I feel like it ruins the crypt completely, which is over here. So, this resets crypts. This these this resets ch chests, so like you can like get another chest. Now, this I, it's good for like oh, rewards, but the problem is. Like, the rewards are now, like, loot boxes, in a way, where you're not, you can't, like, just get a specific one. You're just now, like, going for, like, two chest to chest. Also, ignore this, because, like, I'm on my Xbox, so I don't really have all my save data with me. It's on my PlayStation, and I only have my Xbox with me. But, yeah, you just have such limited um, access to, like, a lot of the rewards now, because, like, you have to do, like... You have to like go do the, the towers of time or and whatever it's very mixed on how you try and get rewards in this game towers of time i'm 50 50 on i'm on i'm 50 50 with towers of time because like it's the same thing as injustice 2 where you have randomly generated um ladders to go through and you, and you play through them like at a certain time and you only have like a limited time to play them which is okay but then you have like in, like these specific rewards like you have these store you had story outfits that were restricted to like limited time towers which was definitely annoying especially if you were like busy and like if you missed this certain time you were not able to get that skin which was insane so i'm ho i have i need to play through invasions i'm really hoping invasions really allows you to just get what you want without having to like do anything crazy at a, a certain time i'm really hoping it's just very simple and straightforward i think that's it 
for all I have to say. For me, playing competitively was very interesting because for me, it w I, I had like a great experience. I really did because I'd say, because for me, this is where I really got to do more competitions than I did for any other iteration. Cause like, I only did one in X and then I was annoyed cause all I could do for Injustice 2 was online tournaments uh, for ESL, which was so annoying. I, I do not want to relive that. Just for fun, I do want to showcase some of my uh, tur tournament results cause uh, I really started to improve a lot more. So first one was up in GamerCon, which was recently. I got second, but um, twice. I got second twice, but I don't know where it is. But I did. I managed to place first at One Calls Kineticon. That was like the only tournament win I had for Mortal Kombat 11, which is good. I managed to get one bracket win in before I could leave the game. So I have that um, East Coast Throwdown. I'd say. I, I, even though I didn't, like, ma get far, I managed to, like, at least get the ninth for a major. Because, like, East Coast, I know, is, like, one of the big majors. And keep in mind that it is going to be, like, crazy. Because East Coast Throwdown, I think, is going to be the first major for Mortal Kombat 1. So everyone is going to be pulling up day one for that. So I managed to place ninth. I wasn't able to be typhoon was just like someone i also lost to up in uh gamer con ggs to him i'm really looking forward to playing him this year as well i'm hoping i get to play him as well but yeah ninth at east coast throwdown second uh gamer con second uh retro rumble what's funny about this one for evo i didn't even play in that one i i didn't i couldn't because I was I was working at the time, so I really did not have the chance to even play it. But somehow they gave me 257th place for Mortal Kombat 11 for Evo. So I at least got a high placing for Evo, even though I never even got to go to Evo. I'm hoping I'm going to try and make it happen. I will try to get to Evo um, this next year. So second at uh, another one. Wait, how did I... I don't even remember this one. I did that? I don't even remember the New Jersey one. I do not remember participating in that. Now, this was also my first East Coast throwdown. I got 65th out of 197, which was brutal. So brutal. Oh, my gosh. I... That, I fought, like, a Garrus and a Jade, and it w went so bad for me. But I, uh... I got a redemption tournament, which was for second place. That was like for a loser's bracket, and I got second. And then my first tournament placing for a tournament was top eight, and I got seventh place. So, yeah, I had some pretty good uh, tournament results. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of how I did. I'm really liking how I did throughout uh, 11 scene. This was a, a moral mk game that we had going on for quite a while this one this one was probably the longest supported nrs game because it's so normally supposed to be a, uh, a two-year cycle but it ended up getting at least three years of support it got like an additional year compared to like all the previous ones which is impressive and i'd say it also had the most appearances at evo i think because let's see here it had it appeared in 2021 or no 2019, 2021, 2022, and 2023. So it had four years of being at Evo, which is insane. So that it had a lot of chances to also have like a big scene, which is great. But yeah, I like what I did with this game. I'd say the only weak thing I did, like the lowest thing I had, had for it was content i really didn't have much time to do content for this game uh, i i did want to do more especially for when i looked at a lot of other fighting games that came out afterwards because for guilty gear i streamed a lot more of that when that came out uh kof i felt passionate about street fighter 6 i definitely made sure to do a bunch of content for that and i'm still going to do some street fighter 6 content as we get more of the dlc down the line but one I am going to try as my best to get as much content as I can out, but 11, 
I'm glad of what I d I've done with the game. I liked how I've done with it. I'm glad of how good I came at it and of the people I met throughout this game. So, it is time to say goodbye to 11 as we enter the new era. It's time to clean the slate. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, um, wait, where's the uninstall? They're preventing me from uninstalling it. No! 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 Never mind, I just had to go to my library. Goodbye, loser! Farewell! It's time to meet your end! Bye bye It's gone. Now let's go to the new era and enjoy MK1.